Maybe you studied English, or any language really, for months, years, or decades. Maybe you're even lucky enough to live in a country that speaks that language. But maybe you're also asking yourself, or people are asking you, Why don't you sound like the people around you? There are a couple reasons for this, but one of the biggest may be placement. Placement, 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 placement. I know we're always talking about it, but I really want you to understand the impact that it has in your first language and how that can impact any other language that you learn. For instance, if you're used to producing sounds from up around here in your mouth, you may not even think to move it down into your throat in a language like English. And in fact, it can be even worse if the second language that you're learning has the same vowel sound as your first language because your brain thinks, oh, it's the same sound, so I'll just pronounce it the same way. When in reality, there are some big differences in terms of where you may be projecting from. In fact, we've even talked about some of the three most common vowel sounds that exist across many languages in the world, but that in American English are gonna sound pretty different. If you truly wanna start fooling people, you want people to not really know that you're not from the country, or if you want to convince people that you're a native speaker, or if you're just tired of people commenting on your accent, well, pronunciation may not be enough. You could have the best mouth position in the world, but the reality is that if your placement is not in the right spot, it's never gonna have that quite natural sound. I'm going to give you some more examples now of how different languages pronounce the same vowel sound differently. Different, differently. I'm going to get some help from some fantastic teachers of different languages. So if they speak a language that you're interested in, you really need to get in touch with them. These are native speakers of Mandarin, Italian, Portuguese. We're going to be focusing on one vowel sound, the I sound. I, for instance, like in a word like time. To make this I sound, which exists in many different languages, what you're going to notice is that, in general, your mouth's going to start wide and close. Your tongue is going to start low and then rise. So again, I, I. Again, one thing that you're going to use to make this sound more natural in American English is a lower placement. So instead of getting like an I or an I, it's more of an I type sound. Notice again, lower in the throat, also very relaxed in American English with lots of air coming through. You don't really want to block that air with your tongue. Here are some example words. Why, time, life, kind. Let's now hear how different languages interpret this same vowel sound. See if you can hear any differences. Hey, learning something new? Don't forget to like and subscribe. My. My cai. My cai. My you. Nice. Sai. Cai. Sai. Sai. Shy. 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 Thai. Thailandia. Thai Thai. Thai Thai. Rai. Farai. Practice your placement with another vowel sound in this video. 